Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Manic Odyssey and this DBT journey. We're looking at ways to describe emotions, specifically love. This is the seventh of 10 words we're going to work through describing. We'll look at synonyms, prompting events, interpretations, biological changes, expressions, and the after effects of each word. Okay, love. Let's start by looking at some words we can use when talking about love. Adoration, affection, arousal, attraction, caring, charmed, compassion, desire, enchantment, fondness, infatuation, kindness, liking, longing, lust, passion, sentimentality, sympathy, tenderness, and warmth. Now let's look at some prompting events for feeling love. A person offers or gives you something you want, need, or desire, does things you want or need, does things you particularly value or admire, feeling physically attracted to someone, being with someone you have fun with, you spend a lot of time with a person, you share a special experience with a person, or you have exceptionally good communication with a person. Next, here are some interpretations of events that prompt feelings of love. Believing that a person loves, needs, or appreciates you. Thinking that a person is physically attractive. Judging a person's personality as wonderful, pleasing, or attractive. And believing that a person can be counted on or will always be there for you. And now let's look at some biological changes and experiences of love. When you are with or thinking about someone and feeling excited and full of energy, fast heartbeat, feeling self-confident, feeling invulnerable, feeling happy, joyful or exuberant, feeling warm, trusting and secure, feeling relaxed and calm, wanting the best for a person, wanting to give things to a person, wanting to see and spend time with a person, wanting to spend your life with a person, wanting physical closeness or sex, and wanting emotional closeness. Next, here are some expressions and actions of love. Saying, I love you. Expressing positive feelings to a person. Eye contact, a mutual gaze, touching, petting, hugging, holding, cuddling, sexual activity, smiling, sharing time and experiences with someone, and doing things that the other person wants or needs. Finally, let's look at some after effects of love. Only seeing a person's positive side. Feeling forgetful or distracted. Daydreaming. Feeling openness to trust. Feeling alive and capable. Remembering other people you have loved. Remembering other people who have loved you. Remembering other positive events. And believing in yourself. Believing you are wonderful, capable, and competent. That's all for this video. Love has a multitude of expressions and how we experience it and interpret it will be unique to us and our individual experiences with it. The hope is that you will now have a way to recognize and observe love when it arises, or even better, as it's happening or before. Knowing is power, and understanding how you experience love is a crucial step to living in wise mind and reaching our goals for a life worth living. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos with anyone you believe will benefit from these skills and this information. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.